So it's Christmas time again, right? Today we are going to make a Caribbean Christmas traditional fruit cake. It's better known as the black cake. You'll see why. So let's look at the ingredients. start with the butter and as you can see it is room temperature it's not frozen at all and so we put this in the bowl then we add the sugar and we mix we mix until the butter and the sugar is dissolved into one paste, okay? So this is what it is supposed to look like, and we are going to do this quick and easy, okay? So I'm just going to add the flour. Gradually. And then I'm going to add some eggs gradually okay we do this like that and we mix some more egg or the rest of the egg and the rest of the flour To mix. So you mix until it gets binded together. We have the bowl of fruits here and I've added my vanilla and almond essence and I'm now adding cinnamon with it and I mix it in there. I said it's going to be quick, right? And then we mix it, we pour it, in fact, all into the bowl. And we mix. You must preheat your oven so that when you put the cake in, it's already hot, okay? Now, this is how it's supposed to look after mixing, right? Unlike other cakes, you don't beat it too much. It's really just mix it. You don't need an electric cake mixer or anything like that. And then we add the secret portion, which is the brown sugar coloring, the burnt brown sugar coloring. And that's what gives it the black look. Okay, and then mix that in. Nice and easy. Note that I didn't put any baking powder because the flour I used is um, it's a self-rise flour. It's a flour which has baking powder already in it. So I've greased my pans and now I'm going to Pour it in. See the texture? Now remember, do not fold it right up to the top because it's going to rise. Now into the oven. So now it's in the oven and it should remain for about 90 minutes. And you can insert a toothpick to make sure that it is ready before you remove it from the oven. The way you can know is like, if the toothpick is wet, then you know it's not quite ready yet, okay? Concerning the fruits I had soaked in the, in the wine, it has been soaking for quite a while actually. So it's soaked for about a month, sometimes three weeks. But in case you don't have all this time, you know I'm into this quick and easy thing, you can just put some wine and your raisins and all the other fruits, the mixed fruits and everything, on the fire and you saute it. And I think it does the same effect anyway. Yeah. 
Okay, bye.